Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to create a QR code. Now first I'm going to show you just quickly how to create a black and white standard QR code, but then I'm going to show you how to add colors and images to your QR codes. Now everything that I'm going to be talking about will be in the video description, all the links to all the websites. If you have a link or a website you want to share with me, leave a comment and I'll add it to the video description. So let's get started. The very first thing that you need to do is just open a browser window and we're going to navigate to QRStuff.com. Now QRStuff.com is by far one of the best websites out there to create QR codes. 100% free. Once you get here, you can see in step number one, just choose the type of QR code you want to create. Now I'm just going to create a basic website URL, but you can see that we have Bitcoin, SMS, phone numbers, uh, all your social networks. So select the type of QR code you want to create. Step two is enter the URL. I'll use this example. And that's really all we need to do. Now we can just download the QR code and it downloaded. I'll drag and drop that to my desktop. And there it is. Now I can scan this QR code. Anybody can scan this QR code using their mobile phone. So how do you do that? Well, all you need is an app that scans QR codes on your phone. There are tons of them freely available on the App Store for iPhone, Android, and Windows phones. So just go to the App Store, type in QR code scanner free, and download a free app to scan QR codes. Then you'll be able to scan this QR code and you can check to see whether it works and it goes where you want it to go before you put it wherever you're going to put it, whether it's a t-shirt, a mug, a sticker, a website, and so on and so forth. So that's how you create just a basic black and white QR code very quickly and easily, like always for free. I also want to point out GoQR.me. GoQR.me. Another great website, very basic, very simple, easy to use. Step one, you just select the type again, not as many types, but that's okay. You can just select the URL again if you need to. I'll use the and boom, download. That'll pop up the screen. You can change the color and do a little other modifications to it, but let's just go ahead and download that as a JPEG. Boom, there it is. So those are two websites that I recommend. Very quick, easy, uh, very, very user friendly. So let's get to something a little bit more advanced, and that's unitag.io slash QR code. Um, you don't need to create an account at least right now. If you can go to this address, and you can do a little bit more with our QR codes here. Um, and it's all for free, and I really like it. Now, here in step number one, if you click on other types, you can see there's the virtual business card, it'll kick, kick into a wizard, and you can fill out all that information. You can do the SMS, you can do a geolocation. Let's just do a URL like we've been doing. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll use my Google Plus URL. And let's just enter that URL right there. Click on Confirm. That will generate a preview. Now in step two, this is kind of where we customize it. So you can see here that I can choose from one of these templates. Here's a Google Plus template uh, that I could just use right there. Uh, but I can also click on colors. I can do custom colors, overlay images. Um, so you can see that we can do some different looks here on the left hand side, you know, around the corner, diamond square, circles. Let's add a logo. Um, so I'm just going to choose a file here. I'll just choose that and I'll click on upload and it'll basically replace that G in the middle with whatever you upload. Looks good to me. Uh, what other options do we have? Background colors. Looks good. Let's just click 
uh, download the QR code. Here is the QR code. Your QR code is now ready to be downloaded. Click on next. And I can just download my QR code. Also, very easy. Um, but I like it. I like all the options. I like how we can just really address this baby up. So that's how you create a QR code using unitag.io. And I like unitag.io because it's free and it allows you to change the color, add some images, and kind of dress up that QR code that you're making. Now, if you're trying to make a QR code that looks something like this, this is really more like a picture inside of the QR code. Visualelite.com is by far one of the best websites to do this. Uh, now, if you want to do that though and actually track your QR codes and your analytics, you're going to have to pay for an account. They do offer a free account which allows up to three QR codes and 500 scans, but I'm not interested in having to pay to create QR codes. I would much rather just use one of the free services I just showed you previously. But I did want to point this out because visualv.com is doing some really cool stuff and it might be what you need, especially if you need the analytics and you're trying to track those QR codes. So that's how you create a QR code. We first made those black and white QR codes, then we added some color and images, and like always, 100% free. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on this video. And actually, if you'd like, go ahead and scan any of those colored QR codes at the bottom of the screen, that'll get linked with our social media accounts and we can continue the conversation there. So again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.